students have really had to demonstrate an extra measure of resiliency and perseverance to make it through. One of the key measures that students have used to really see things through is to have a pretty clear idea of what their goals are. By having an idea of where they want to go, it's so much easier for them to take those little steps day by day to, to see their goals through to the end and to really make it through not just one semester, but two semesters of school during the times of COVID. Hi, my name is Erica Fetzi. The materials for this piece was oil on canvas. I felt like I really captured what I was looking at pretty well, which is why I chose this one. There's something about it that's just calming when I look at it. My name is Nicole Watts. For this artwork, it's actually a painting of myself. Um, so I took photography last semester and I ended up with a bunch of um, self-portraits. So I took one of them, edited it a little bit, um, did it in black and white, and then just used that as a reference and went from there for it. It is oil paint on shellac paper. I think one of the first paintings I've done of a person. Interesting challenge. have to take a lot of precautions. Uh, students, uh, just to begin with, have a lot more energy and desire to be here because they know it's a very special opportunity that they have that they normally wouldn't. Um, and of course we've been practicing six foot distancing and masking and everyone has been very cooperative because they want to be here. That's the reason they're here to work. Hi, my name is Regan Heron. The name of my piece is the Head Study. The materials I started with with this piece were um, plastiline clay and then I casted it with plaster and then painted it. Um, if I were to put any meaning behind this piece, because it's only a head study, it would be that it's one of my first sculptures and it's one of the first pieces that really got me into what I think is one of my favorite mediums. The things that motivate me to be an artist are just the physical embodiments of things that I enjoy and I want to pursue in creating them and for other people as well. I've always had a fascination with, you know, sci-fi and other types of films and just awesome inspirations of mine have really pushed me to create my own. This year's Buxbaum Scholarship Award winner is Tracy Krenzel. The Insulaco Award is given to a student who is pursuing a career in the arts. This year's Insulaco Award is going to Amy Hawkins. So each year um, we have available to us from the foundation uh, the Williams Family Scholarship Award uh, in Sculpture and this year's recipient is Regan Horan. <laughs> 